Today I want to talk about the performance of Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or Snapdragon 7 Gen 2. As you can see on my channel, I mainly test on my Poco F3 and it has a very good performance. Sadly, 8GB of RAM is not enough for all games, so it will crash in newer games. So technically, a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is much faster than a Snapdragon 870, right? Well, besides the heat problems it sometimes has, the performance is very bad, especially on stock devices like my POCO F4 GT. As an example how it runs with 720p high settings on my Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, you can see GTA 4 runs about 10 FPS or lower. And now the same settings at density with my Snapdragon and 870. It doesn't mean that all Snapdragon HN1 is bad because a user, it's Xanzo, he also has um, a Snapdragon device but has it from another manufacturer. So it's from it's from Red Magic and he maxed out the performance so it improves also the FPS. Another issue besides the worst performance in Box 64 Extra Gear is that some games um, face some freezes or graphical issues too. So like in Witcher 3, if you are um, using the older sync, the game runs longer but the landscape is not rendered. And if using the newer driver, it renders correctly, but the game freezes after just a few seconds. So it isn't really playable.
However, a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 doesn't have this problem, problem at all. So if you are, you are interested in using Box64, just either keep your Poco F3 or wait for better Adreno drivers for the newer gen chips because um, it's, it's really bad, so keep in mind. And another fact is um, because of the RAM issue, if you're running out of RAM, Tamox box will crash is um, if you don't have enough RAM ZRAM or swap RAM won't work that well it will help in some games but not at all um, it's better if you're using uh, P-Road instead so the non-root um, version of uh, Box64 because in rooted uh, state um, in some games there is some memory leak um, according Olegos. He also find out that uh, RAM usage is much higher on root. So if you have problems with uh, games which, which um, needs much RAM, so switch to P-Root instead. But if you have a black shark Xiaomi device which has uh, in the uh, highest option 12 gigabyte RAM so you don't have to worry about it it's enough so 12 gigabyte RAM seems to the sweet spot for the emulation but um, the RAM usage um, could be much lower hope it will be fixed in later updates and one more thing uh, for future games which um, are in which are also available for the PS4 the um, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 shows that the GPU power is very important because um, if you see Devil May Cry 5 runs on the Snapdragon 870, which is uh, now um, dated, and you can see the difference in performance only because of uh, the GPU from the HN2, it can reach much higher FPS. So, although the GPU usage is already maxed out, so for future uh, tests, we will see. Um, maybe uh, that the uh, newest chips with better GPU chips are the future. Meanwhile uh, WinLater 2.0 is released from Bruno as you uh, saw in my community posts already. Um, it's um, maybe improved for Mali users because it has improved virtual performance. He, um, I saw already other testers with um, game tests on uh, virtual devices, so maybe you can check it out. But for Snapdragon, um, the HN1 chips, it doesn't work because the uh, TUNIP drivers are for the Adreno 600 series, but you can't choose for the 700 series. So um, he maybe he forgot it, but um, there are already mods out there. Um, WinLater 2.0 from Afai mod um, corrected those issues and it has very good performance. Also the sound issues are gone, which are present in, which are in the past in version 1.0, 1.1. And it's definitely an improvement maybe you can check it out so let's find out which games are now running 